Hello folks, I am back now with a shooting impressions of the Six Sour Emperor Scorpion carry. And I'm going to tell you something folks, I was really, really impressed with this firearm. Uh, I'm going to have to say, and I'm going to make it a bold statement, that this firearm and the Dan Wesson Guardian that I have are definitely my favorite two 1911s in my collection. They are definitely my favorite two. But getting to the to the Scorpion, it is a joy to really shoot. I mean, it this firearm had no malfunctions whatsoever. Uh, these magazines right here perform flawlessly. I decided to order two more of these magazines because it's very rare that you get a, a firearm with magazines that work right in 1911s because a lot of people that have 1911s, they have the magazine issues. They end up uh, getting Wilson Combat magazines uh, to correct that issue. I believe these are Checkmate magazines. I think they make these for Six Hour. I'm not sure on that. I think they do, though, if I'm, if I'm correct. But this magazine worked flawlessly. The firearm worked flawlessly as well. Uh, it performed very well. You, it gives you a high grip. You have your high grip and you are right there on your thumb safety to use it as a rest. And it works out perfectly. The night sights work very well. Uh, at my range, the range I go to, it's not overly dark and it's not overly light, but I can see these uh, sights glowing. Uh, it, it, I, it's a very good firearm. I have very good purchase because of the front checkering and also the grips here. I think I'm just not going to change these grips. I know there are better looking grips out there, but I might just leave it, this alone because, uh, because this leaves a, gives you a good purchase. I was thinking about getting something like maybe uh, something like black and it's kind of squiggly like the VZ grips, but I might just leave it alone. And especially with the way the color accents are, you have the, and besides this grip right here, it's matching the, the rear uh, grip portion on the back strap. So that's a, I think I might just, just leave it alone. Uh, the, Coloring is, is great. Uh, a lot of people will complain about um, with the six PVD coating and sometimes it Mars or whatnot. But I'm not going to worry about that because I look at it this way. This firearm is meant to be shot. It's not to be babied. It's not going to be sitting as a safe queen like uh, one of my other firearms is doing right now. But I this is definitely a shooter. Uh just looking at the at the business end, this uh, it, it's it I lost for words actually. It, it's really a uh, nice bushing here. The bushing matches uh, the uh, the plug right here matches with with that extended slide release. Uh, the hammer it's a little bit uh, oily because I had just finished shooting it, but yes, this is a very good shooter, and I think. Nobody would have a problem with this uh, firearm to do so. There are other 1911s out there that are a lot more. There are 1911s that are in excess of 1600 on up. And you know, there's some of them that are 4300 Uh People may, cro uh, may say something about the price of this, but you do your due diligence and do some shopping around. You can find these at some bargain prices, gun shows, whatever the case may be. Um, like this firearm is, like I, I said in the previous video, it took me two years to track this one down. So I'm really impressed with it, really like it a lot. And I kind of like this uh, commander size uh, because I've ordered a holster for this to also be carried as well for certain uh, certain situations where I don't have to worry about high capacity. Uh I earlier put this up to my uh, Dan Wesson Guardian, and the dimensions are pretty much exactly alike, uh, especially 
in every way is pretty much exactly alike, except for the only difference is this has uh, front serrations. Uh, Six Hour is not known for 1911s like other companies are. There are other companies like Springfield Armory that started, I guess, with the 1911s and the other firearms, and then they started venturing out to um, uh, striker fire pistols. But this is uh, this is what SIG has ventured out to. They're normally, as we all know, are famous for their P double uh, P two hundred line, which is basically their double action, single action firearms, and they've been very very popular, used in, in the military, used worldwide. But they're not pretty much known for their nineteen elevens. Uh, the only knock I have on their 1911s is I think that they should make all their 1911 slides like this. Uh, I know they want to be different with some of their um, offerings with, with their 1911s, with the five inch models. And I do have a Scorpion, which preceded this one, which is discontinued. It's kind of like squared off. And I prefer this look a little better because it doesn't look too boxy. And secondly, the reason why I like this one a little better is because you can find holsters uh, for this uh, much more easily. Now, it used to be that if you had a rail on the bottom, then that made it a little bit more of a challenge for uh, holsters. But a lot of holster companies have caught up with that, with having rails on these particular firearms. And and I, I don't think it's uh, too much of an issue. But once you get that squared off uh, a look on the top, it's hard to find holsters or holsters that would accommodate that. So I think SIG, SIG needs to basically stick with uh, this particular style. Now, one of the complaints about this particular one also is this one does not have a rail. Now, the uh, I have a uh, the Scorpion, which preceded this, like I said earlier. They had another version, uh, uh, the compact version or the carry version, that had a rail. So maybe they will come out with a rail version of this. I, I'm not sure. But the full-size version of this does have a rail. But uh, who knows what they're they're going to do? I'm, I I really think Sig really needs to change that slide and make it uh, more standard with the, all the other firearms out there. Uh, other than that, I I mean, like I said, I really like the firearm. Uh, you can say what you want about the Six Hour Company. A lot of people are not happy with them. Um, number one, because they're pricey and that's where people think oh, SIGs are a bunch of snobs or whatnot. They do put out some quality firearms. Like I said before, the f people complain about the finish, but they usually make their firearms to run. Uh, it has the good looks for a while, but it just shows you some battle worn uh, things after a while. But a SIG strong suit, we all know, was it with the P200 uh, series. They ventured out with this particular fire, uh, 1911s, and they went into the striker fire market. Now, we all know what, what happened with the striker fire market. Uh, I don't think that's SIG's strong suit. I really think that's another thing that hurt the company really bad was the, with the striker fires. They were all the rage. Everybody loved their uh, P320s. I was a, about to get one. And a lot of people love, love those firearms. They still like them today, even though they had the drop issue. But I, I don't think that's SIG's um, strong suit. I think that the 1911 and or, let's say, the P-Series or their Legion series. But, and for uh, much people talk about their... Their legions as being another snobby thing. Uh, I, the Legion s series isn't too bad. It, it's just a just a their upper grade version of what's already a standard. So that's all that really is. You know, you get some with bells and whistles and so forth. So that's the way it is. And like I said. Uh, I think SIG has done very well when it comes to 1911s in those that series, and not only to mention that their MCX series with their with their um, 
with their 300 blackouts, uh, rifles and uh, pistols. And also, uh, as you know, the MCX series, I mean, um, they have really good products. A lot of people are not happy with the Copperhead, but I think the Copperhead is growing on people. But let me go to the point about this uh, firearm, how it did at the range, because I went off on a tangent there. Uh, this is a very accurate firearm. It shoots uh, very well. Uh, and let me just show you the targets. Like I said, very accurate. Very accurate. This is roughly 7 to 10 yards. And more of my uh, targets are pretty much the same. So there's no use showing you all the targets. But this is what this uh, firearm is doing. It's it's putting out some um, accuracy like that. And, and that's what I'm really happy about. So I'm going to pretty much cut this uh, video short. And... Just to, because I went off on that tangent a little bit earlier, I'm just pretty much excited. But I really like uh, this firearm. I recommend this firearm to anybody who want, who's looking at a 1911 who probably does not want a Kimber or unfortunately some people are not really into the Springfield Armories. But definitely this is a good pickup. And if you could find one, uh, just do your shopping around and you might find one uh, at a decent price. So um, happy shooting. Hashtag 2A.